Good morning. I am Rodrigo Cedeño from Politecnico di Milano, Italy. I am very happy to be here with you in this Geographic Information for Disaster Management Conference. I will be presenting to you the assessment of Sentinel-5P performance for ground-level air quality monitoring preparatory experiments over COVID-19 lockdown period. Our motivations and objectives. Atmospheric pollution has been largely recognized by the scientific community as a primary threat to human health and ecosystems and represents a pressing sustainability concern directly connected to many sustainable development goals from the United Nations. It has been proved that air quality deterioration has increased the number of deaths worldwide even at low levels of exposure. Our motivation to develop this work are the current limitations for monitoring air pollution. This is traditionally performed utilizing fixed ground sensors networks, which represents the primary air quality data source to many national and local authorities. The use of permanent ground sensor networks allows for continuous measures, thus enabling computations of air quality indicators required by the current legislation. Nevertheless, the exclusive use of permanent ground sensors denotes several limitations. The main reason is that observations from fixed ground sensors limit the spatial granularity and coverage of the measurements. With this in mind, this work presents a preliminary investigation on the contribution of satellite estimates as an alternative or a complementary da data source for local air quality monitoring. The case study selected for this work focuses on the correlation assessment between nitrogen dioxide satellite estimates from the Sentinel-5P and the authoritative ground measurements available for the Lombardy region. The Lombardy region is characterized by an unfavorable geographic context for air pollution and ranks among the most polluted areas in Europe. NO2 is one of the most diffused and monitored air pollutant, which is primarily released in the troposphere. Two analysis periods were selected for the correlation analysis, respectively the months January to May in the years 2019 and 2020. Further than computation of the correlation between satellite and ground observations, the selected periods allowed for parallel quantification of COVID-19 lockdown effects of NO2, which from March 9th to May 18th, 2020, caused a massive reduction of both industrial and transport activities in the Lombardy region. Ground air quality monitoring is performed in the Lombardy region by the Regional Environmental Protection Agency through its air quality sensors network. The network is composed of more than 100 fixed ground stations providing hourly ground level measures of pollutant concentrations, including NO2, PM10, PM2.5, O3, and sulfur dioxide. Data can be downloaded in CSV format using the Open Data Portal web interface or in JSON format through a dedicated open application programming interface. Satellite estimates of NO2 concentrations were retrieved from the European Space Agency, Sentinel-5P multispectral mission and are freely distributed through its data access hub. Products are provided with a spatial resolution of 5.5 km along track and 3.5 km across track, with a global daily coverage and in NetCDS format. The available products are NO2, O3, SO2, carbon monoxide, methane and formaldehyde, together with aerosol and cloud indexes. The preprocessing operations produce two data frames containing geolocated time series of NO2 concentrations from ARPA Lombardia sensors and NO2 tropospheric columns product of Sentinel-5P. 
Daily averages were computed for the ARPA Lombardia sensors and compared between the two study periods to assess the COVID-19 lockdown effects on NO2 concentrations. ARPA Lombardia sensors have an hourly sensing time period, while the satellite passage happens each day between 10 a.m. and 1 p.m., according to the Sentinel-5P Sun Synchronous Orbit. An iterative procedure was implemented to average the hourly sensor's observations over a time window and use this average for computing correlations with the satellite observations. Correlation analysis between ARPA and Sentinel-5P NO2 time series was calculated at each ARPA sensor location. The Pearson's correlation coefficient, rho p, was computed from the Peirce-wide comparison of each sensor's time series and the corresponding satellite time series to measure the linear correlation, which may represent a relevant limitation in assessing the correlation between direct NO2 measures from ground sensors and satellite estimates derived from the spectral signature analysis of the atmospheric column. The Spearman correlation coefficient was calculated to measure the monotonic statistical dependence between ranks of two variables, thus allowing assessing correlations whether linear or not. Preliminary results show a reduction of about 17.5% through the comparison of daily average NO2 concentrations between COVID-19 lockdown period and the same period of the previous year. By considering only March, when most of the restricted lockdown measures were ongoing, the reduction was about 24.5%. The results are aligned to those of the previous studies carried out on the same topic for the Lombardy region. The sharp decrease of NO2 emissions reflects the massive reduction of industrial and transport activities imposed by the COVID-19 pandemic that affected the region. Results from the correlation analysis carried out by means of the row P and row S computations are reported in the table, as well as summary statistics of the two coefficients. Results pointed out that global strong positive correlation between the NO2 ground measurements and the satellite estimates with mean values near or larger than 0.75. Correlations are stronger on average for the 2020 study period than the 2019, but characterized by a higher standard deviation. Therefore, the results suggest better agreement of satellite estimates with ground-level NO2 measurements at a lower concentration level or eventually at a lower emission level from the industry and transport sectors. Nevertheless, the computed standard deviations indicate a higher variability of the correlation coefficients among the different sensors in this anomalous emissions scenario. Now, we can observe that the Spearman's coefficient has a better performance than the Pearson coefficient. So this points out a slightly strong non-linear correlation rather than a linear correlation. Spatial patterns of correlation coefficients can be inferred from the figures shown in this slide. It can be noticed that the lowest correlations are mostly confined in the mountain areas and valleys where the highest correlations are mostly found in the plain and metropolitan areas. This may be connected to one or a combination of different factors. First, the orography of the mountain areas and valleys might obstacle the satellite view on the lower atmosphere column by biasing the satellite est estimates with respect to ground measures. Second, microclimatic conditions background emissions, emission sources, and general landscape characteristics. Results indicate a reduction of about 17.5% for the daily average NO2 concentrations 
in the Lombardy region during the lockdown period with respect to the same period of the previous year. The analysis points out a strong positive correlation between ground sensors measurements and satellite estimates with mean Pearson and Spearman correlation values near or larger than 0.75. Spearman values outperform on average Pearson's by suggesting nonlinear correlation being more effective than linear one for inferring NO2 ground concentrations using Sentinel-5P observations. This preliminary work focused on NO2, while it can be directly extended to other common air pollutants, such as O3 and SO2. The presented exploratory analysis is a propedeutic step for future work, which allows focus on the development of prediction models to empower the regional air quality monitoring with satellite observations assets. Thank you very much for your attention. If you have any questions, please contact us.